When the steam train made its debut around 1800, people refused to ride it. Why? They feared that the speed would make rail passengers unable to breathe, or that they would be shaken unconscious by the vibrations. Even a bicycle was a technology believed to ruin society during its early days. People found these so terrifying that new phobias were coined. We are hardwired to fear the unusual. We instinctively reach out to our emotional brains to protect ourselves against the possible unknown. These are fight or flight responses, and they influence our perceptions. Nonetheless, what we once mistrusted are now standard technologies. We now realize the benefits of traveling faster, reaching loved ones, and having a sense of wanderlust. We now know that we do not need these fears, and yet they are still there. So how do we make ourselves more attuned to what we initially perceive as threats. Would you show more trust if you understood how things work? If you understand that when coal burns, produces heat, which turns water into steam, that pushes the pistons, that drive the wheels of a train? Perhaps once you have this understanding, you eliminate your fears. You embrace the technology and you trust it with your life, or do you? Today, there are millions of surgeries being performed with the assistance of robots. Now, you're probably thinking of a robot in charge of a scalpel. Sounds dangerous, right? Now, even though this might be an excellent idea for the next Black Mirror season six, I'm here to ensure you that you are always in the safe hands of a surgeon. For sure, we have made huge strides regarding artificial intelligence. But we are as far away from robots being as clever or more intelligent than human beings. And although technology offers brilliant solutions, they pale in comparison to what only we possess, the human brain, the exact entity which makes us capable of dealing with change and uncertainty, the same organ that allows us to conduct complex analyses and make difficult decisions on the spot, the same factor which influences our fears, and our mistrust. According to a recent survey, people would rather choose traditional surgery over robotic surgery, even if the latter results in a better outcome. We tend to trust those whom we can relate to and identify with. We naturally crave touch and interaction and when these elements are missing, our fears are being fed. I must emphasize that there is no surgical robot without a human in the loop. There is no robotic surgery without the surgeon. Robots are here to assist and enhance the capabilities of surgeons. Now, what are these capabilities? In 400 BC, Hippocrates shared the long-held dream of physicians to look inside the internal organs. He even more notably called for scientists 
to pioneer sophisticated surgical techniques, focusing on manual labor, a definition later coined in Greek as chirurgia, roughly translating to masterpieces of the hand. So how do we ensure that surgeons remain masters of their own abilities while assisting with technology? Not to mention public acceptance. The answer is simple. We should value the success of medical technology in terms of its practical application, not in terms of its novelty. We should measure innovation by quality, not by quantity. However, it breaks my heart to know that there are individuals that suffer from a stroke or a heart attack that cannot be treated due to the lack of accessibility to skilled surgeons and the availability of the technology that they utilize. It turns out that this is exclusive to the lucky few. And this is my drive. I am here to tell you there is always an option for inclusivity. Medical technology should be affordable and accessible to the globe. Through my research conducted on surgical robots and medical innovation, I spent close to seven years working with and studying robotic technology. First, in the narrow context of rehabilitation engineering, and then more broadly, towards heart surgeries. Recently, we have developed a technology that works with something I believe you're all well acquainted with. Magnets. With a magnet, you can move things around through an invisible force. You can attract or you can repel them. And you can influence them without even touching them. Sounds like magic, right? What if I told you that a simple thing, such as a magnet, could one day save your life? I recently co-founded a medtech company. We are devoted to providing surgeons with helpful tools. Not only tools that they need, but also tools that they can trust. We build on this trust by ensuring first that they understand our technology. The technology is simple. A surgeon inserts a medical device into the body to treat a disease, and then positions a magnet outside the body of the patient using a robot arm. Now, the robot arm is essential. It can hold a magnet of 14 kilograms for hours in the correct position without even flinching. It is a robust, reliable, and accurate assistant. This magnet then helps the surgeon interact and positions these medical devices inside the body as if they were conducting an open surgery, but without its drawbacks. This reduces the complexity of the surgery and shortens the intervention duration, giving you a better outcome. Surgeons with little experience can become masters. This implies that more patients can be treated, which reduces waiting lists and lowers hospital costs. Like a steam train, this robot is merely a vessel, an extension of the hand of the surgeon. 
Our goal is to make our technology accessible and affordable to all hospitals globally. By listening and acting on real problems, we can ensure that we act in the best interest of the surgeons and their patients. Hence, helping those that help others. These are ambitious goals, but I would rather choose ambition over fear. How about you?